politics, and that all is a threat to our ego sometimes because different ideas can change the way that we view ourselves in this world, and that can sometimes be perceived as a threat. But I'm just some girl on YouTube, <laughs> so just relax. Um, I want to point out, right, ever, like if you watch my channel before, I talked about growing up in the Catholic Church. Why are we always calling God the Father, God is our Father, God is our Daddy, all these priests are Father, and women can't be, women can be sisters, but they can't be mommy. <laughs> we're, never, we're never calling a nun mother. <laughs> and I remember growing up in, the, in Catholic school, and what's fantastic about indoctrinations is when you ask questions or when you ask certain questions they never have an answer it's just because i said so it's because and i said that is the first sign of oh. speaking publicly um, oh. around that time frame in two thousand. Made a mistake hey guys welcome oh. to my what is it women be priests or why can't girls be altar boys you know they're altar boys the boys that assist the priests in the ceremony ritual and they wouldn't allow women or they wouldn't allow girls. The way that I found it, here's my theory because well, I'll get into that after I take a bath. Okay, do you see this? This is this was like right at the moment. I'm 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 going to make this video, and then I hear this phone beep, and I thought it was um a message, and it, no, it's this. Now I don't know, since I don't use PayPal, who the fuck is Jennifer Thompson? Five five eight point nine nine. Demetria. trying to do shut the fuck up five five eight point nine nine Okay, well then that jives with what I'm, I'm about to say. Super cool. Super cool. Alright, well then that's it for this. I guess we'll do this too. Might as well add this. Because I was going to, I'm going to talk. It's something, to, I got something to say. Is this all? Or we're going Cloud Buster. I think it's cool. It used to be shiny and nice before it got burnt and shot. They fit very nicely together, they do. It's a rodent coil on that thing. I missed that. The Jersey Devil. It's right over there. Come on. Ha 
That's the wolf. Does it play music now? There's a nephew Jacoby. Nephew Jacoby. Jacoby! Jacoby. Kool Aid lip ass kid. Yes, peace out, dude. Can we can we cut to the fucking chase so I can make my video? Yes, thank you very much. I've got the new one on my head right now. Where's this music coming from? I missed that tent. Here, I made it. I made it. This is the best place to have this camera to make a video. Because you can hear my voice. I get the dirt out of the microphone. This is the best place in the house, I guess. You can use your hand. I can throw my hands up. I can use these hands. Use these hands. Look, I could just rotate it over this way on the thing and get the whopper. There's the whopper. Didn't, didn't fall, but it fell. But it... Let's get a feed the chickens. And I've got my magnet, magnetic, magnet alignment lined up with this. Now, I don't know why, but this little bitty magnet here, it's a very strong one. It syncs up with my mind. If it's a little bigger, I'll fucking lose it. If it's a little smaller, I don't know. I'd probably eat it. That's not, that's not true. I won't eat it. I'm very magnet. And very fork you. Viagra is Sanskrit for tiger. We have a Viagra clock. It's very cold out there. So I listened to Megan. What are you doing? Why am I? Why is it doing that to my face? Froze my face again. I was listening to Megan Rose. And I really like her videos. I really like them because I just do. There's some people that when I listen to them, there's, um, I know what I can get from it. And I think it may be hard for men to take, um, women more seriously. I'm just saying that that just because of society society doesn't uh doesn't fully acknowledge correctly i don't think the way that um women are a lot better and a lot stronger with spiritual things like embodiment of spiritual concepts and she was talking about being in the Catholic Church and all that weird stuff but I put it on there but what made sense to me when she says because there's not a positive there's not a positive female outlet 
and I come onto a periodic cycle where I have an impulse and it flashes forward and it puts me in a, if I don't have my ex showing up fucking with me in my dreams and I'm thinking, am I still married? Am I, you know, what the fuck? It fucks me over. Or if I have this person that I call 27 to think about positively with that uh, Mary Magdalene energy going on. Because once I have that, I get gleeful, joyful, until what period of time that the communication is stretched. I'm not saying this like a fucking weirdo. I'm saying this with the most basic, because I don't... Are you ready to defend this point? Yes, I am. I have complete integrity in myself. I'm not giving myself away. I'm not worshiping nobody. And in fact, what I have overcome in my thinking and all that bullshit of ego, I'm happy with. Because I don't need nothing from the person. I'm not looking for nothing from the person. I'm looking for cooperative, co-creative Something society doesn't give us. Now, I have been working with my higher self. That I have to fucking talk to. I have to talk with that higher self. I have to ask questions. And I have to get answers back. It has to back and forth with me. And it does. And I've tried not to be the first time. And this, this all began. This has all began the whole time. With this one person. Who I probably will alienate the shit out of if I even try to engage it. Because it's just like, you know, it would push that person into the only humanity. They, they get into that, I'm just, I'm just a girl, oh little old me, and a single mom with problems. And you get into that static, I'm da da da, you know, fucking... <laughs> No doubt fucking persona or whatever uh, program it is. It's all staticky and it's not. Over here, it's a fucking heart. And it's strong. And it's got organization. Over here, it doesn't. It's chaos. It's a drunk woman. It's a meth head dude. It's all the problems that people have. But as you can see, I'm not going that way. That's not the way that I'm going to go. That's not the way that even the, app, the the environment opens for me. So the, the girl explains, Megan Rose explains, and I think that this is the case because this is where my experiment goes. Are you also trying to rouse the per? Yes. Yes. See, now I can talk to you with... My alter ego bypassed to where my questions that I need to ask for these videos is coming from my higher self, which comes from, which is behind me and at this side. It's always been the way it is. I've heard voices inside my head. It was on this side because people have asked me and I, and I had to think about it. I said, okay, first time, first time I heard the voice, I'm telling you, this is God, it's not the military, the military could do it, because they want to do that, they want to do that, they're doing it, voice of God te technology, I got locked out of my grandma's house, maybe it was about this time of year, I was staying there with my grandma, the house I own now with my brother. I'm having to pay all these taxes on. And um, I didn't have a key. She wasn't there. And then I said, oh, man, it's cold. I'm going to, when, when I thought I'm going to be cold, what am I going to do? I mean, I could have sat in my car, I guess. Um, I heard that voice. That voice was on this side. And it said, go to the back porch. There's a bowl. Inside the bowl is a rag. Pull the rag out. There's the key. 
And sure as shit, I went and did those things. And there was that key. And I, I got into the house. When my grandma asked me, how did I know where the key was? I told her. I was like, God told me. And she's like, your Uncle Larry says that God talks to him like that. I was like, well, he's never talked to me like that before, but he did this time. And I say he, but I don't, I'm not restricting it to he. It kind of sounded like it was using my own voice. You know, I don't know the voice per se, but I rec I know that there was a voice. Let me pause this before my dad throws a fit. And Do you need help? Do you need to help you? Oh, we have to eat some cereal, probably. It's in the icebox. Okay. Or eggs, if you want to cook eggs, it's on you. Do this video. Eggs, chili. I'm gonna do that. I'm chili. I'll cook the chili. Give me a minute. Yeah, good. That, that, sounds, that sounds good. I could eat that, too. So, I guess we didn't, we didn't have our pipes explode. Good. No baby yet? No. No baby yet. We don't know if this chicken's going to have a baby or not because she's sitting on an egg. And it, it may be too long. I, I don't think so. Oh, uh, so it may still be a good egg. Yeah, she, yeah. This, this chicken, she's actually the survivor. Yeah, she only got one egg. But she's a, she's a survivor. She was the one that was at the door when the last murder of chickens came. And it's one of the other girl chickens that was brought to us as grown-up sons that is the rooster. So he's got a really old, old, old lady. And she don't put up with his shit because she's still alive. And I don't like the way the roosters treat the, the hens. All that pecking and fucking clawing and shit. I don't like it. It makes me mad. When I got mad the first time, all the motherfuckers were dead the next day. All of them were dead. Because this dog came through, through here, Cooper. Now, Cooper, I've had these phenomenon with animals. I might as well get into that because this plays into it. First, when the white, first there was a white wolf puppy. He came, and someone else wanted to stay at the river. And it was my friend, Zabby, who was another important part of the puzzle that I don't have to tag in. I would tag in because of some advanced spiritual battle, but I don't have to, and I'm not going to, because uh, her old man actually loses the spiritual battle, and she, and she wins. Because he attacks his own family, being an asshole, and tries to take custody away from the, the, their own their kid, being a dick, being a dick, being a dick, which I don't support that at all, and I don't respect the way that the fucking law here is. Um, well, he could be, he he would represent all that's wrong with the fucking government, the people, the corruption. He would represent that. And he's chosen to. And that's that's so. We're not. We don't. I don't have any more dealings with him. But I know. I know. That's all I have to do is know. And if I interact in my dealings, lawfully, and fucking honestly, then I'm spiritually covered, brother. So, sorry about your mother, fucker. Yeah. So my uncle Larry talk to God like that. He had nasopharyngeal cancer. He got, he worked at Phillips 66. Inside of his head, he had a golf ball sized tumor. Somewhere in there. I don't know what side of his head it was on. And as soon as he found out, he's like, Jesus is going to heal me. Never went back to the doctor, just started going. He started witnessing to his own deliverance at the moment he got the cancer. 
I think that's important to note that he did, as far as I remember. Now, I know my memories aren't completely Xerox copies of the events, but he did. And um, after a while, the uh, doctors said, well, what's he doing? We got to get him back in here. Let's get him back in here and get another MRI. You know, what'd you do? You do some Chinese medicine? Did you do? He said, no. Jesus healed me. They're like, they thought he was stupid. You're fucking crazy. Until they got that fucking MRI done. Not a fucking sign of no cancer in him at all. It's gone. I saw both MRIs. I saw it. Big ass thing. They're like, you need to start preparing. He's like, what I need to do is to give my testimony that I've been healed. That's what he did. That's what he did. And that's what happened. So that was the most powerful act of faith. I'd ever seen in my life. And me and my uncle were very good friends. That's the only uncle next to my dad's brother. That's the only uncle I've ever had that type of relationship. It was fucking awesome. It was cool. He respected me. We both started fasting at the same time. And he never ate meat again in his life. And when he died, he died making sweet love to his woman. He had a heart attack. So he went out just the way that all men want to. So my point to make the video was. I think this person. Because of what my higher self tells me. Has the potential. In their self. That has some sort of value. That at least if I think about them. And send them positive. Energy considerations which and i know how positive energy could be a fireball so i don't fucking be doing that to people but you have to also consider that men have that lust energy and it's in the same line and i'm trying not to have it corrupted or fucked up and i'm also not trying to screw myself out of a partner because I, I believe fully that you can manifest a partner so i have that i have to be honest about that but when she said that with the church situation the way it is, they've set up a, a negative feedback loop. And I understood that impulse because I could feel it when it comes on. And normally it'll tie into that um, lusty energy. Although I fought with it and contend with it and can do some amazing things with it. That's currently where I'm at. I guess now I've got to make breakfast eggs. That's all I wanted to share. I'll put this together and hopefully someone can make better sense of that. That's just a single man trying to become divinely united with other female, divine female, without, you know, raping, stalking, or wrong thinking. And I think I can do that.